Hey everyone, it's Hannah here and today I'm going to be doing my first impression on the Hourglass Bale Minimal Mineral <laughs> Primer and before I go into that make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I try to post at least one or two videos a week every week so go do that and click the bell button so you know when I'll be posting a new video but besides that let's get into this video so okay now I got this our it's from Hourglass Cosmetics it's their new veil mineral primer I don't know if it's new or if they're just promoting I don't know um, I got this for free actually and if you want to know how you can get free makeup or many ways to get free made it makeup I will link down below my previous two videos on how you can do that just so you know you guys have a chance to get free makeup as well the claims on this mineral primer from hourglass cosmetics is that it conceals redness to even skin tone minimizes the look of pores fine lines and imperfections um, it's airy silky cloud like texture layers on the skin without added weight delivers SPF 15 it's oil free and it's all it's for all skin types it repels water so makeup looks freshly applied all day sounds nice for my oily self and it's paraben free gluten free and cruelty free and vegan okay doesn't really give me how long it lasts so I'm kind of gonna go on this with my own so I guess I'm gonna do a five-hour check-in wear it for five hours and check back in with you guys I guess I'll do one side with this primer and then the other side no primer at all and I'll powder the same I know a lot of people don't powder but I feel like if I'm gonna test it right I want to test it with the products I usually use to kind of compare it to my other primers that I use I'm gonna use a beauty blender today as well because that's just how I apply my makeup and let's get into this without me rambling half to one pump of the primer to clean moisturized skin prior to concealer which I've already moisturized Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme which is what I always moisturize my skin with and it says it works with any cream liquid and powdered foundation so let's get into this oh it kind of squirted out onto the floor there definitely more than a pump Oops, that was really like uncalled for. I did not expect to have that much fly out. It's so weird because it literally doesn't, it literally doesn't feel like there's anything on my face. The redness of like right here is a little bit gone, but otherwise, to be honest, it looks the same. But again, we don't know how it's gonna be until after we wear it for a while. So. But what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so now let's go ahead and apply the foundation on both sides, normal. I guess that's what we're gonna be looking at. I'm using the Mac Studio Fix today. This is what I usually use when I'm filming videos. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so all the foundations that you use are pretty much for oil control. So as of right now, application-wise, it looks the same. It looks the same when I'm applying it. It doesn't really look like there's a difference. The only thing I will say, like my pores are still really like showing through, but it doesn't look bad either. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop us right here. I'm gonna go powder my face with my normal Mac Studio Fix, do my face, come back, check in before we do our last check-in. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just finished putting on the rest of my face. If you wanna see this look, I will be having the video up hopefully after this video is up or before I'm not sure yet but you'll know obviously if it's there on my channel or not I did I don't know it looks it looks okay I'm not I'm not mad with it there's really the only thing I am seeing and it's only been I think a good 30 minutes 30 yeah 30 it took me 30 minutes to put all this on is it is separating a little bit around my nose already which is not normal for me because I usually never, oh, and right here, on my chin right here, it is separating a little bit. So it's separating around the nose and right here already, and it's only been 30 minutes. So 30 minutes ago, it was 3.35. 30 minutes ago, it was 3, it was 3, almost 3.30, 30 minutes ago. So now it's 4.05, so I will be checking in. I'm hoping to be checking in maybe like around 7, 7, 8 o'clock. I think that's the longest I'm gonna go with this makeup on. Um, and that's usually how long I go with makeup anyways. I don't really go more than like four or five hours. So I'll do one last check-in and we'll see how it looks. But as of right now, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad. I do see the separation just here and I just put this on half an hour ago. So that's kind of weird. 
But other than that, let's see. We'll have to just wait and see. All right, guys, see you in a bit. This is my end of the video check-in. I had started putting, I had actually applied this foundation, the primer and the foundation at 3.30, I think, and it is now 7 o'clock. Oh my God. This is pretty much on my first impression on this Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass, and I'm gonna say I look like a grease ball. Not that that's not normal for me, but for only what, I think four hours? This is not even a five hour check-in. I think I'm pretty greasy really quickly compared to when I use my Benefit Professional, my Murad Oil Control Mattifier, the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. When I use those, I don't tend to get as oily this quickly as I am looking like a grease ball right now, so that's a little weird. Pretty much what I'm seeing is this is the side where I had the primer on, and this is the side with no primer, and to be honest, looking left to right, they look exactly the same honestly like i can't even tell that there's primer on my face like both sides look exactly the same to me oh yeah my lipstick's gone by the way because i had wings and i had to take the lips liquid lipstick off that's why there's no lipstick i don't know the fact that my face oh my god wait it's separating a lot right here too which is not a usual spot for me it's separating oh my okay never mind it's separating everywhere the foundation is separating everywhere on the skin so i checked on sephora this hourglass cosmetics veil mineral primer does retail for 56 dollars for the one ounce one fluid ounce but honestly at this point trying it one time i'm not really liking it as of right now it doesn't look too good but i'll definitely try it out and update you guys on instagram and on snapchat and maybe if you guys want to update it here i can do that as well but after doing today's little trial and you know first impression of it as of right now i don't like this primer for at least my skin type which is oily skin i have oily skin and i, I don't know maybe it might be better for someone that's more normal combina normal to combination or dry skin maybe but for me, oops, for me, no, it's, it doesn't work out. Well, all right, guys, that's the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope I could be helpful about this primer. But if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to like this video and let me know down below what other primers you'd like me to try or any, any kind of makeup product you want me to try out here on YouTube, here on my channel, my YouTube channel for y'all, because y'all didn't know YouTube already. But all right, guys, bye.